Hello everyone. In today's summary, we'll be exploring the wisdom and transformative insights found within the pages of The Art of Living, Mindful Techniques for Peaceful Living, by Thich Nhat Hanh. Join us as we dive into the profound teachings of one of the world's most revered spiritual leaders, and learn how to embrace mindfulness in every facet of your life. From the art of mindful breathing to the practice of deep listening, this book offers practical techniques that can lead you towards a path of inner peace, compassion, and harmonious living. Let's begin. Chapter 1. The Art of Mindful Breathing. In this chapter, Thich Nhat Hanh introduces the fundamental practice of mindful breathing. He emphasizes the importance of being fully present in each moment, using the breath as an anchor. The author provides detailed instructions on how to engage in mindful breathing, encouraging readers to focus their attention on the inhalation and exhalation. Through mindful breathing, individuals can cultivate a state of calm, reduce stress, and develop greater self-awareness. Example. Thich Nhat Hanh suggests practicing mindful breathing in everyday situations, such as when waiting in line or sitting in traffic. By bringing attention to the breath, individuals can transform mundane moments into opportunities for mindfulness. Mindful breathing serves as the foundation for cultivating mindfulness and can be applied in various situations to achieve a sense of peace and presence. Chapter 2. The Miracle of Mindfulness. Thich Nhat Hanh delves deeper into the concept of mindfulness, highlighting the potential for experiencing the miraculous in ordinary activities. He encourages readers to embrace mindfulness as a way of fully engaging with each aspect of life. The author introduces the concept of washing the dishes to wash the dishes, emphasizing the importance of being fully present and attentive to the task at hand. Example. Thich Nhat Hanh recounts a story of a monk washing his robes mindfully, using the act as a form of meditation. This story illustrates how mindfulness can elevate even the simplest actions to a state of profound awareness. Mindfulness has the power to transform mundane tasks into meaningful experiences, leading to a greater appreciation of life's moments. Chapter 3. The Practice of Mindful Walking. In this chapter, Thich Nhat Hanh explores the practice of mindful walking as a way to connect with the earth and ground oneself in the present moment. The author provides detailed instructions on how to engage in mindful walking, encouraging readers to walk slowly and attentively, feeling each step and experiencing the contact with the ground. Example. Thich Nhat Hanh describes walking meditation as a form of kissing the earth with your feet. He explains that with each step, practitioners can express gratitude for the earth's support and nourishment. Mindful walking is a powerful practice for cultivating a sense of connection to the earth and fostering mindfulness in motion. Chapter 4. The Practice of Sitting Meditation. Thich Nhat Hanh introduces sitting meditation as another essential technique for cultivating mindfulness. He outlines the proper posture and breathing techniques for sitting meditation, emphasizing the importance of finding a comfortable yet alert position. Example. The author provides guidance on using the breath as an anchor during sitting meditation. By observing the breath, individuals can bring their focus back to the present moment whenever their minds wander. Sitting meditation is a potent tool for developing concentration, self-awareness, and inner calm. Chapter 5. The Practice of Deep Listening. Thich Nhat Hanh explores the art of deep listening, a practice that involves being fully present and attentive when others are speaking. He emphasizes the importance of creating a safe and open space for communication, allowing both the speaker and the listener to express themselves authentically. Example. The author shares a story of a conflict resolution session where deep listening played a crucial role in fostering understanding and harmony among participants. Deep listening is a transformative practice that can improve relationships and create a more compassionate and empathetic world. Chapter 6. The Practice of Loving Speech and Deep Speech. Thich Nhat Hanh discusses the significance of mindful communication, highlighting the impact of our words on ourselves and others. He introduces the concept of deep speech, which involves speaking from a place of mindfulness and compassion. Example. The author provides a scenario where a couple practices loving speech by expressing their feelings and needs with kindness and understanding, leading to improved communication and connection. Mindful and compassionate communication can heal relationships, resolve conflicts, and promote a sense of harmony. Chapter 7. The Practice of Mindful Consumption. Thich Nhat Hanh addresses the idea of mindful consumption, emphasizing the impact of our choices on our well-being and the environment. He encourages readers to be mindful of what they consume, including food, media, and other resources. Example. The author discusses the practice of mindful eating, suggesting that individuals take time to savor each bite, appreciate the nourishment, and cultivate a deeper connection with the food. Mindful consumption empowers individuals to make choices that align with their values and contribute to their overall well-being and the well-being of the planet. Chapter 8. The Practice of Taking Refuge. 
Fitch Nyat Han introduces the concept of taking refuge, which involves seeking solace and guidance from the Three Jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, teachings, and the Sangha, community. He explains how these sources of refuge can provide support and inspiration on the path of mindfulness. Example. The author shares stories of individuals finding strength and comfort through their connection to the Three Jewels during challenging times. Taking refuge in the Three Jewels can provide a sense of purpose, guidance, and a source of inner stability. Chapter 9. The Practice of Mindful Work. Fitch Nyat Han explores the idea of bringing mindfulness to our work and daily activities, regardless of their nature. He suggests that any task, whether mundane or complex, can be approached with mindfulness, leading to greater fulfillment and a sense of purpose. Example. The author discusses how monks approach their daily chores mindfully, recognizing that each task contributes to the well-being of the community. Mindful work transforms routine activities into meaningful contributions, fostering a sense of interconnectedness and purpose. Chapter 10. The Practice of Mindful Speech. Fitch Nyat Han delves deeper into the practice of mindful speech, emphasizing the importance of using words that promote understanding, compassion, and connection. Example. The author provides guidance on transforming difficult conversations through mindful speech, focusing on active listening, empathy, and speaking from a place of mindfulness. Mindful speech enhances communication and nurtures relationships, leading to a more harmonious and compassionate society. Conclusion In the concluding chapter, Fitch Nyat Han summarizes the key practices discussed in the book and emphasizes their potential to bring peace, joy, and fulfillment to our lives. He encourages readers to integrate these mindful techniques into their daily routines and embrace a life of mindfulness and compassion. The Art of Living Mindful Techniques for Peaceful Living, by Thich Nhat Hanh provides practical insights and techniques for integrating mindfulness into various aspects of life. Through mindful breathing, walking, sitting, listening, speaking, and consuming, readers are guided towards a deeper connection with themselves and the world around them. By cultivating mindfulness, individuals can experience greater peace, joy, and compassion in their daily lives, ultimately leading to a more harmonious and fulfilling existence. If you like this summary then subscribe to my channel and if you want to purchase this book, check out the link given in description box. Also check out the new designs on our store for unisex t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt etc. I'll see you in the next book summary. Thanks for watching.